Milu here. Um, I'm in my room, and I just got back after a long day of school, and I just thought I'd film this really quick and fun video, just kind of talking about my first week and some of my impressions, and um, through the medium of showing you what I would pack my bag with, what I think are St. Petersburg City essentials. So, um, also forgive my kind of messy room, like this week has been really crazy. We've had like language intensive, um, every day for like three hours. Um, and then I've just been like exploring the city and we've had tours and, um, you can see pictures of all of that um, on my Instagram and my Facebook and hopefully I'll be uploading some of them to the actual blog as well. So, let's see, I have this overstuffed bag here full of everything I think are um, St. Petersburg essentials. So let's get started. So first thing on my bag is a raincoat and a umbrella. These are like I think if you're gonna bring anything to St. Petersburg, like, you need both of these. Um, because one thing is certain in St. Petersburg, like, it will probably rain. And you never know when or for how long. It could just be for a second, but when it rains, you really want a raincoat or preferably an umbrella or even more preferably, um, some combination of both. So I always, always have um, this or this or both in my bag or some, you know, combination of those two because it literally rains here all the time. Um, but for the last two days, we have had sunny days all the days through. So that's been really nice. And tomorrow... It's also supposed to be a sunny day, so my friend and I are going to um, an amusement park in the afternoon, which is supposed to be open until 10 p.m., so we can knock ourselves out going on rides and stuff, so I really hope it doesn't rain. So yeah, those are some two essentials. Let's see what else is in my bag. Um, ooh, this. <laughs> I think, like pretty necessary to have like a phone. I am currently living the two phone life. I feel like a celebrity or something. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I just like living the two phone life. This phone is my Russian phone, which, um, you know, I used to text my host mom or other program people. It's really, really annoying to text on it. And this phone is like probably from the 90s. It's a burner phone. So in addition to feeling like a celebrity, I also feel like and then this is the phone that I use um, just for maps and directions. Ooh, so many notifications. Um, and there's this really cool app I found called Tugis. That's two and then G-I-S. I don't know if you can see. It's like that app there. Um, which you can navigate around the city. It will tell you what buses to take and you know, what kinds of public transport to use and how to get there and how long it will take. And it does it all um, bez interneta without internet, which I think is like amazing and kind of sketchy, but it works really well because I haven't gotten around to buying a SIM card yet, um, which I will do tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> so yeah, this, you need like a phone, maybe two. <laughs> what else is in my bag? Oh, 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 so, oops, can I really see this? Oh, can you kind of see it like this? The light isn't bad. It's a postcard. Um, postcards are nice to send to friends and family. I just found a cool shop um, on Nevsky Prospect where they had some inexpensive but really pretty postcards. So let me know. Um, send me a message or just Send me a message, like a Facebook or like a WhatsApp message or a comment or something if you want a postcard from St. Petersburg, because I'll send you one. Okay. What else is in my bag? Ooh, this sweater. So 
so I don't know what I was thinking when I packed my suitcase like somehow I thought it was gonna be like warm but then I don't know why in the world I thought it would be warm it's actually been really cold so I had to go buy a sweater this is my sweater it's like super warm and large and cozy and I'm really proud of myself getting it because I had to haggle for this sweater so the sweater was at the market at Udelka and um, yeah I had to haggle with the lady in Russian to bring and I brought the sweater down by 50% it was 1000 rubles tasted rouble and I brought it down to 500 pizza rouble and I was like pretty proud of myself because a I'm really really bad at numbers and like I had my two friends there to make sure that I wouldn't accidentally say in like 5,000 instead of 500 um and also because like you know haggling like is something that's really scary for me even in English so that was like a big deal that I got this sweater and it's so warm and cozy so a sweater is definitely a must um don't be like me and think that it's gonna be super warm because it's not I don't know literally don't know why I was thinking that okay what else is in my bag Ooh. this is my my baby my Russian English dictionary which I use pretty much all the time um, it's super, super useful and helpful, um, yeah, and this edition is the, the com revised and expanded English-Russian, Russian-English dictionary, Kenneth Katzner, the definitive edition, I don't know, it's really good, so if you're looking for a Russian-English dictionary, highly recommend this, this one, um, I'll leave like in the box um, a more detailed version of this if you want to get it. Um, what else is in my bag? Ooh, so this is a wallet that I also got at the market in Udelka, and um, I did not haggle for this, so I am not as proud of this this purchase, but I'm very happy with it. Um, because one of the things is that I really needed was a wallet with a coin purse because one thing about Russia is that you pay for ev almost everything like in cash and I mean places are starting to accept card more but foreign cards you know um, are like harder to accept you don't know whether you're gonna get accepted so it just like makes more sense to carry cash around all the time and like I don't know like Russian things they love change and I'm sorry, I had a huge lump of change in here today, but I used it all when I paid an exact change. So here's like a little bit of an example of like two Russian coins. You can see, I think this is, what is this? One ruble and this is five rubles, six rubles. <laughs> I'm rich. Um, yeah, so it's really useful to have a wallet with a coin purse in it because you don't know when you are gonna get a lump full of coins which will be probably always all right next in here water bottle this is really important in st. Petersburg to carry water um, not only because you know good to stay hydrated to stay healthy but also because um, you can't drink the tap water in St. Petersburg and it's just really nice to carry a bottle around so you don't have to worry about, you know, finding water. Um, I usually buy a water or bottle like every few days or so and I just kind of wash it out and then use it and then buy a new one. Um, oh, handy tip, if you're going to a restaurant and you're ordering water, you want to order <laughs> with your meal, not just ordering water. Um, you want to order your water bez gaza because gas um because like the default apparently here is sparkling water and bez gaza is water that isn't sparkling so there's that okay we're getting to the end of this video i'm sorry it's super long and then the other thing i found i needed this is my bathroom kit 
um, because the public restrooms here are like super, super unreliable and you never know, um, <laughs> like if the bathroom is going to have toilet paper or not. So in this little packet, I have some toilet paper, some Lysol to keep things clean because they are smelly and some hand sanitizer because sometimes the line for the sinks are long and then you don't have to wait for the line. Um, so that's just like my little bathroom kit that I keep with me all the time. Um, interestingly here, I guess this is like a European thing, you have to pay to use the toilet. So there are these like little toilet stands that are like just kind of scattered around the city where you can go pay like 30 rubles, which is like 50 cents to go use the toilet. And those toilets, gonna say, not the greatest to use, but um, they do the job. And if you have your toilet kit, then you are all set. Okay, um, ooh, this is not in my journal, in my, um, bag, cause, but this is something that's super needed. It is my spicy noodles, because, um, like, I love the food here. I think, like, pilmeni and vlini, like, oh, they are so good. Like, ojin kusna, very tasty. But, um, these spicy noodles are for when I'm just like absolutely craving spice and I need it so bad. Um, and it's really hard to find spicy food here. Uh, then it's, and um, if you're like me and you just love spicy food, then bring some spicy noodles from home. Uh, I also, though, recently found this pho place, um, which is on this island called New Holland Island, which is right across from my school and well kind of to the back of my school and um the pho there is like they have this spicy sauce that you can put in your pho that is actually spicy and it's like super delicious and good so yeah highly highly recommend and what else is in here Do -do -do. oh this is my lipstick can you see i'm wearing lipstick i think um, the Russian beauty standards here are like crazy, like everyone looks so put together and the crazy thing is here, like in Russia, there you do a crazy amount of walking. So I would say if you come here, like definitely bring walking shoes because walking for like an hour or an hour and a half is like completely normal and like I've never done that much walking before. Um. I mean, like, I love hiking and stuff, but never, like, walking to get somewhere, you know. If it's going to take me an hour and a half, usually I, like, take an Uber or something. But, um, yeah, here it's totally normal to walk really long distances all the time. And you see these women, like, walking in these, like, really tall, like, itty-bitty heels, like, just walking. Um, and I think that's, like, amazing because I'm here, like, wearing, like, my comfy memory foam flats and boots and like no way am I walking that far in heels so yeah I add this little bit of lipstick to give me a little bit of glam so I don't feel quite so frumpy <laughs> surrounded by all these glamorous Russian women um what else is in here Ooh, this is not in my bag, but I keep this at home, but I think this is something that's needed, is tapuchiki. Ooh. These are my slippers, or tapuchiki, and you need tapuchiki whenever you are walking in someone's home, you wear slippers at home. And then another interesting fact is when you get home, you change from your outdoor clothes into like your indoor clothes. So you know, have clothes for home, sweats for home, and then you know, your fancy nice dress <laughs> for outside. Yeah, so that's something. And then the last thing in here is my journal. I think, you know, having a journal that you write in just your thoughts, your impressions, how you feel like you're changing, you know, if you have a bad day, you can kind of like let it all out. Um, your experiences. I think it's just great um, 
to have a place to put your thoughts. And so I'm lucky because I have, you know, my social media and this blog and my videos and this journal to like kind of share all of the things that I'm going through and um, experiencing and, you know, really have to look back on this amazing adventure. Um, so the last thing I think that you need to bring to St. Petersburg and really to any place that you want to go is a sense of humor. Um, I cannot tell you how many totally embarrassing situations that I've been in. Um, yeah, there's like times when I was going to go buy a concert ticket and I almost bought a ticket for the wrong concert because I mixed up the month that the concert was in and the ticket lady, whew, she was laughing at me for a while. <laughs> or like, um, I don't know, when I was haggling at the market. So the, part of the reason why this sweater is so near and dear to me is because I tried to buy another sweater at the market and I tried to haggle for it and I was not successful. And the lady was like, not very nice to me. And I felt really, really bad about myself. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, I can't do anything. <laughs> and then I was like really sad. And I was lucky because I had two friends who were with me and they were like, okay, you had one unsuccessful experience. Um, we're gonna turn around and go to a different seller and you're gonna have a successful experience. And I'm so glad that they pushed me out of my comfort zone and to, you know, try again, and I did have a successful haggling experience, um, for a sweater, so that has special meaning for me, and so I just think, you know, having a sense of humor, being able to laugh at yourself and not take yourself super seriously, like, be okay with trying new things, or there's so many times where I just start speaking, you know, responding, I have literally no idea what I'm saying, or like, no idea what I'm supposed to say or like no preformed idea in my mind of what I'm gonna say in Russian I just like kind of let it out and like hope for the best and I mean I always tell the people around me like my host mom who is amazing um probably gonna do a video or something about her because she's so great um uh anyway sorry I got derailed anyway I was gonna say, like, I th my host mom helps correct me with my grammar, like, my teachers, I tell my friends who are, you know, better Russian than I am to help correct me with my grammar, just help fix mistakes. I think not being afraid of making mistakes and just kind of putting yourself out there, and you know what, sometimes, like, it totally backfires, like, I tried to hang over the sweater, the first sweater, and I don't think I was making any sense at all, um, but you know, you try again, and then you know, it can, it can work, and then maybe it'll work, and maybe it won't, and you're just here for the experience, and here for the journey, so, all right, this video is getting super, super long, so I'll just, like, call it good here, and say, um, thank you to everyone who has, you know, led me to be having this incredible experience in St. Petersburg, and I will keep you all updated on everything that goes on, and yeah, check my social media, and this blog for more pictures and for more things and contact me if you want a postcard and um yeah all of that so hope this video was fun and helpful and uh and yeah see you later okay bye